And Jonah began to enter the city. That's right. Day's journey. Uh -huh. He cried and said, uh -huh. Yet forty days, uh -huh. and Nineveh uh -huh. shall be overthrown. So he's telling the people of Nineveh that in forty days, your land will be destroyed. Go ahead. So the people of Nineveh believed God. So the people of Nineveh believed God. This is going to happen in America. You think because we are here preaching that we're telling these, these Edomites and these other nations to repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You think the Israelites don't even want to listen. You know what I'm saying? You think any of these other nations are going to listen? They have to wait for the destruction to come before they start to believe. Even the scripture tell you that wisdom of Solomon. Continue for us. Give me wisdom of Solomon. So the people of Nineveh believed God five, five, and one. proclaimed a fast and put sackcloth uh -huh. from the greatest of them. From the what? From the greatest of them. From the greatest of them. Even to the least to of them. To the least of them. That's the criteria. Right? Listen to that. Remember that now. From the greatest to the least. Keep going. Read that. I want you to remember that because we're going to swing back to it. Listen to this. For a word came unto the king of Nineveh, uh -huh. and he arose from his throne, and he laid his robe from him, uh -huh. and covered him with sackcloth, uh -huh. and sat in ashes. So even the king sat in the dirt. Even the king sat in ashes because he wanted to repent. You understand? So who are the kings today? Donald Trump? You know what I'm saying? Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> Brad Pitt? These are the kings, Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey. These are the kings and the princesses of today. But are they, the, are they, are they serving the Lord? Read that one more time. And he, and the king for the word came unto the king of Nineveh. Uh -huh. And he arose from his throne uh -huh. and he laid his robe from him and covered himself with sackcloth, sackcloth and sat in ashes. That means he humbled himself. Who are, who in, which one of these world nation, national powers, Xi Jinping going to humble himself to the men of the Lord, to the God, to God's word? Um, uh, what's his name? Putin? He's going to humble himself to God's word? Donald Trump? Joe Biden? They're going to humble themselves to God's word? They're not. Continue reading that. Read that. And he caused it to be proclaimed and published through Nineveh uh -huh. by the decree of the king of his nobles, mm -hmm. saying, Let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water. You hear that? They, yo, the animals couldn't even eat. That's true repentance. If you need, if you if you eat a mite, you want to survive. Of course, the prophecy said you won't. But you other nations, right. that's kind of the criteria that they're going to take. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to really, like, grovel. That's the term. Somebody give me the definition of gro grovel, please. The other nations, they're going to have to do that, man. You know what I'm saying? Give me um, Isaiah 14. Let me talk about them. Um, yeah, yeah, read that. This is a grovel. Lie or cry or crawl. Objectively on the ground, one face downward. Damn. Hey, isn't there a, a prophecy about them? Um, the in Isaiah, who talks about how they, they um, women like shall be nursing maids and they'll bow down their heads uh, and look up the dust Isaiah, from the six. Yeah, look up the dust. Yeah, Isaiah 4, uh, 14. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. Uh -huh. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, uh -huh. and will yet choose Israel, uh, yet use choose Israel. Go ahead. and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, uh -huh. and they shall cleave. What are they going to do? And they shall cleave. They're going to cleave. They're going to be like, yo, let's go with you, man. You know what I'm saying? We know, who, we know he's your God. We know about Joel 2, 27. We know about Malachi 1 and 3. We know about Zephaniah 2 and 1. We know about all these scriptures because guess what? You may not have brought us into your congregations and we may not have been able to go to your feast days, but you had the Lord made sure he put videos out there. You know what I'm saying? So now, now we know who we are according to the scripture. We might not be Israelites, but we could be the ones that clean. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. 
Maybe some, some Israelites might not agree with me, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like we got to teach everybody, man. Like you say, not gospel to decide what to do with it. We got to teach everybody. Giving them their judgment in, that they are going to be judged, yes. But you got you can give them hope too, I think, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they're going to have a chance to be in their own land. And a lot of them just going to comply, man. Because it's good. If the commandments are good for us, I'm pretty sure it's good for them too. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Let's just keep it funky. Pursuing to the book of Zechariah 14, they are going to be taught. Always, they're yeah. They're going to come, they're going to do the Feast of Tabernacles, and they're going to be learning the laws. Yeah. yeah. But